Hello and welcome. On this week's show, we are going to talk about a famous chain restaurant and compare it to a Disney World restaurant and see how the prices compare. Hello and welcome. I am Lauren Williams and I am from Magical Travel Adventure. I am a travel agent and my services are free if you would like to use my services. I am considered a Disney expert and a Disney specialist for your planning purposes. I also do Disney Cruise Line, Disneyland, Alani, Adventures by Disney. I do all types of cruising and all-inclusive resorts. So please reach out if you have any questions or would like to know the process of working with me. So on today's show, we are going to talk about comparing Applebee's pricing to the Grand Floridian Cafe. So with the Grand Floridian Cafe, it is just a regular sit down restaurant. And I was trying to find something that had comparable food with Applebee's. And I wanted to just see the price difference. I knew there was a price difference, but I wanted to actually see it. And I obviously knew Disney was going to be more expensive, but I wanted to see what that price comparison was to kind of know what is that extra money that you might need if you go to Disney World and you're doing all these sit down meals. So let's start off with, I started doing with an appetizer, an entree, a kid's meal, drinks and desserts. And I did this just in, a, in an order and then I add them all up and then we'll see how they compare. So where I start off is the appetizer. Now it was kind of hard to find Applebee's and Grand Floridian Cafe with a comparable um, meal for an appetizer. So I picked the tomato soup option and obviously you can see that Applebee's comes out about half the cost of Grand Floridian Cafe and the Caesar salad again, Applebee's comes out half, um, pretty much half to Grand Floridian Cafe. Now, what I will say is everyone's not going to order a soup or a salad and your appetizer is probably going to be much more fun than soup or salad, but this is just, I, there wasn't really anything comparable. And I tried to look at a bunch of Disney resorts. I was just trying to find the, a resort that would show the most compare, the best comparison with food prices. So that's appetizers. Moving on to dining again. So I found a salmon dish and a burger dish at both places. And obviously the salmon is almost $10 cheaper than it would be at the Grand Floridian Cafe. The burger is about $3.50 more at the Grand Floridian Cafe. So there are differences, but it's not as, I would say the burger is probably the better option or the better comparison. It kind of depends on what kind of vacation you're having or what you normally eat on vacation. So you just need to know, that's why I give those two comparisons of two different types of entrees. So then if we look at kids meals, kids meals, um, I, I, it was hard to find something actually at the Grand Floridian Cafe, but they had a pizza meal at Applebee's and a flatbread option at Grand Floridian Cafe. So obviously the flatbread is much more expensive on the kids meal at Grand Floridian Cafe. Now, if we look at the drinks, the drinks were a little harder for me to compare because Applebee's didn't always put on their prices or it was only for to go options. So I had to kind of go around to different Applebee's around the country and try and take an average of what it would cost if you went into the restaurant to get a, um, just a fountain drink, just a basic fountain drink. So I did find that obviously Disney is still more expensive. However, Disney's prices also sometimes range when you go to these um, different ho hotel place, places to eat because the Grand Floridian Cafe is in the Grand Floridian Hotel. Um, so these options, might they might vary a little more. That's why I put this smoothie option on. The smoothie option is about a $1.50 difference between the two, which isn't like a huge difference in the grand scheme of things. But it, it was just nice to kind of see that comparison that was kind of better. I did not do any alcoholic drinks because that can vary um, a lot also. 
The last thing I looked at were desserts, and the desserts were just a basic like apple crisp, apple blondie type thing to compare them. And again, there's not a huge difference for that. I will give you a restaurant secret that desserts, <laughs> drinks, and appetizers is where they make their money. So those are always going to be marked up, or you might be like, oh, this appetizer is only like $5. Well, let me tell you, chips and salsa cost about 20 cents. <laughs> so you're really overpaying for those types of things. Desserts are typically the most marked up option. I would say what one piece costs for a dessert is normally what it costs to make 20 or 15 of them or 16 if it's a cake. So one piece is paying for the whole cake that they might sell. So if there's 16 pieces, one piece of cake is what the whole cake actually costs for the restaurant to buy it but now they're upcharging it that amount for each piece. So understand that desserts is where restaurants, not just at Disney, everywhere, that's the, the big markup. So that's, if you don't get dessert, you are saving money or you're not spending as much money when you're out to eat. So I decided that I was gonna do a family of four and I did two parents and two kids. And I did it for um, Grand Floridian Cafe in Applebee's and I, what I did is I did one soup, one salad for each of them and added up that price. The entrees, I added up one of the salmon, one of the burgers. The kids' meals, I did two. They each got either two pizzas or two flatbreads. Um, they got two drinks total. I got one smoothie and one fountain drink. The kids' drinks were included in their meals, so I did not charge on those. And then I got two desserts each, and then I added it up. So going to Applebee's is going to be about $74.21, and then it's $107.9, um, not $107 point, it's $107.98 for Grand Floridian Cafe. So if we look at the cost difference for these two types, there obviously there is a cost difference, which isn't surprising. We anticipate that when you go to Disney that it's going to cost more. I think what's more surprising is that the difference between the cost is about $33, which for one meal sounds like a lot. Now, most people aren't going to go out to eat five days a week, but maybe you are. On vacation, if you normally go out to, it doesn't have to be Applebee's, but something in comparison to it. If you're going out to Applebee's every, for five days of your week to begin with, or you're getting takeout, or you're doing that five days a week, you're really only spending about $168 more, $170 more, than you normally would at home if you do five sit-down meals when you're on your trip. It's just something to look at. It's just something to see, just so you're aware of that cost difference. It's, as of I record this, there is no meal plan um, option, but it is coming back. So you do need to kind of budget in for your food now, and you have to kind of see where it is that you want to spend your money. That's always my thing. You can make any Disney World trip happen. You just need to decide what, where you're spending your vacation dollars. Are you spending it on the room? Are you spending it on food? Are you spending it in the parks? Are you spending it on merchandise? You have to decide what it is where you're spending your money on. So this is just giving you a comparison. So let's look at those intangibles. So if you're in vacation mode, you don't maybe care about where you eat, how you eat, how much it costs. You just want to go and enjoy yourself and go to those restaurants. And that's absolutely fine. You might eat where it's convenient. For me, I don't like to sit and do a sit down restaurant all the time. I like one or two total in like a week's vacation, but I like that quick service option a lot because I like to not have to plan. I have a toddler. It's not so easy to plan. It's sometimes harder. The more reservations you have, the harder it is to stick to a schedule and you don't always get to do what you want because you have to make that dining reservation. So I kind of like the spontaneity of quick service that like, okay, well, let's eat at 1130 and we'll just eat here and then we can go and do this ride. So I like that option, but a lot of people like that, okay, by 1130, we are going to sit down, take a break and eat a meal sitting down. So you have to decide what is your vacation style and what it is that you're trying to get with eating. Eating out, it costs more money, just so you know. <laughs> um, 
eating if if you eat out at home or if you eat out at Disney, it's still going to cost more than if you made it at home. You can bring food into the parks. So you can bring in snacks, you could bring in sandwiches, you could bring in your all the food that you're going to eat for the whole day into the Disney parks. You just have to carry it around. So you just know that going in that if that's one part like okay we're going to do a sit down meal but we're not eating at all in, in the parks the rest of the time then you have to bring in all that those snacks so you can do that there's different ways to manage what it is that you want out of this vacation um we talked about choosing where to spend your money on the vacation and you have to look at that price difference if you eat out or get takeout five days a week and it's only costing you about 170 dollars more to do it at Disney World, is that in the grand scheme of things that much? Does it seem too much to you? Does it seem like not enough? You have to decide and make that decision on how you're going to spend your vacation dollars. My biggest thing that I say is that you want to look at this stuff before you go on your trip. You don't want to make these decisions. There's always going to be something more that you want to spend your money on once you get to Disney. So you want to try and set your expectations early before you go so you're not overspending the whole time because then that's what makes people say, oh, Disney's so expensive. They know how to market. They know how to get you to buy things when you're there. There's stores everywhere. There's stuff that you are going to want to buy. So you have to decide what it is that you want out of the vacation and try and stick with that so that you're not overspending and not spending too much money. So that will wrap up our comparison between Applebee's and a, the Grand Floridian Cafe. If you have any comments about that, please put them below. And if you could hit that subscribe and bell button to keep getting videos like this. And if you would like to use my services, they are all in the description. My services are free and I can help plan your magical Disney vacation.